<clears throat> yes. Hey everyone, what's happening? So with silly season going crazy, Liverpool being linked with players left, right and centre, uh, I thought I'd deliver what I feel is my Liverpool summer transfer wish list. Now obviously, I could go mad on this. Cristiano Ronaldo! No. I've tried to the best of my ability to be realistic, relatively realistic. Players that at least Liverpool have been linked with. So, um, again, this is a fit of fancy. Liverpool could have around 200 million to spend. Could, 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 could not. Uh, I've ignored transfer values on players. By and large, these are the players that I just want to see at Liverpool next season. So, kicking us off, Julian Brandt. Why? Because he's left-footed and I've got a soft spot for lefties. No, honestly, because, look, he's a wonder kid. He's an up-and-coming wonder kid. He's amazing on Pro Evo. He's amazing on FIFA. He's amazing on Football Manager. And everyone in world football will be keeping an eye on him. And there's, there are, not necessarily in terms of exactly what type of player he is, but there are parallels to buying someone like Fernando Torres from Atletico Madrid. And by that, I mean a player who's coming up. He's showing loads of potential. He's playing in a good standard of football. He's not at the absolute peak of where he is. His next move is going to be a big move for him. He's, he's got what it takes to play at a higher level. And when you sign someone like that, it doesn't necessarily need to be your top signing, hopefully, but it turns heads, it gets people talking. And again, this is a kid who's got the talent. He can play from the left-hand side. If he needs to be, he can play from the right-hand side. And I'm sure he could probably play one of the deeper positions if Adam Lallana can play that. I'm sure Julian Brand could in, in, in the fullness of time as well. So he's the first one on my list. Next up, Naby Keita. So I had no idea who Naby Keita was a year ago. I didn't know who RB Leipzig were a year ago, but I do now, and you do too. Everyone does. And it should go without saying that Naby Keita should absolutely be in anyone's team that would want him this season. And hopefully, Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed Liverpool. He could have a transformative effect on Liverpool's midfield. You know, he's, he's powerful. He's pacey. I mean, everyone talks now about Kante and everyone. I think everyone's going to be clambering around Europe and, and world football trying to find someone who does a, 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 does a Kante-esque job. Whether it means we want to play with, with one in the anchor the Jordan Henderson role from this season, or for going back to a to a two in front of the in front of the back four, I think he can do it on his own. Or I think if you put him in partnership with someone, he could create a really dynamic thing. You put him in partnership with an Emre Chan or a Jordan Henderson, and I think he'd be absolutely sensational. And Liverpool, I've coped okay with Henderson's injury problems, and Emre Chan started to step up. But again, you're looking at maybe three midfield positions. I want six first team ready players. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll see who they are. Ryan Sessegnon, I'll be honest, not seeing a great deal of him. Don't watch the championship. Let's talk of him being the Trent Alexander-Arnold of the left. And that's super. That's absolutely super as far as I'm concerned. Listen, he's only a young kid, but he's playing 40 at the championship level already. In and around the promotion playoff places. Which says to me that, yeah, you're not saying, here you go, kid. Here's the left-back slot for Liverpool right here, right now. No, but he's got enough of the raw materials right there to hold his own. You're not picking a kid out of your academy who has played a handful of under-23 games or under-18 games. You're getting someone of a similar age with actual physical experience. And say what you will about the championship. Look, the standard is getting higher and higher each season. I would contend that the championship is the best second division in world football. If you disagree with me, please let me know a better alternative to that in the comments below. So he's playing in a reasonable standard, but he's got so many years ahead of him to improve. And with someone like Klopp, who's got a track record for developing young talent, get him in, get him better, and get him first team experience as soon as possible. And you could have Liverpool's left back for 10 years, 15 years. No brainer. Top target. I've said this on the Redmen TV podcast. I've said it on the Reds News Roundup show. All boss things, by the way. Go check them out. Virgil van Dijk. Oh, Virgil van Dijk. Look at him. Look at him. He's glorious. He's. He's. he's look at him. Ugh. Ponytail and the hugeness. He's like a young a young Paul Machen. He's not like a young Paul Machen at all. Good at footy. There's a lot of talk of missing pieces and missing puzzle pieces and final pieces to jigsaws and what have you in some of the transfer windows. I don't necessarily think that that's the be all and end all. I don't think all of our defensive problems are entirely down to personnel. I think it's down to style of play. But to go and get someone of that quality, it means that you've got, you know, John Matip's injury problems are there. Dejan Lovren is not always fit and available, is he? Just throw another really good defender in there and obviously barring the fact that he's currently injured, he's had a pretty good injury record to, to this point. He's absolutely an upgrade on Clavan. He's absolutely an upgrade on Lucas in those positions. In fact, you know, we talk about this, he's a player who you buy him 
and he goes straight into Liverpool's first 11. And I think we've got a good first 11. Not too many players could do that. But yeah, absolutely, Virgil van Dijk, make it happen. Now we're getting to some of the outside shouts. Not necessarily guys I think who will come straight into the first team, but I'm going to start this with a very, very random and outside shout available on a free transfer this summer. Nando. Oh, Nando. I want to bounce again. I want to bounce in a minute. Bounce in a minute. And then bounce again. And I do a minute after that. I don't think he would come in and be great for Liverpool. He's never going to be the Fernando Torres that he wants. He's 33 years old, which is young. That's a fine age. It's a fat, nothing wrong with being in your 30s. It's great. But what Fernando Torres has got is a wealth of experience at the top level of football. He's won league titles. He's now won Champions League stuff. He did what he set out to do when he left Liverpool, was to go and get that silverware. And yet he didn't have the impact on them. And I think he will have wanted to. He's adapted his game. I think he's realised that his, you know, his years in the game are, 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 are you know, dwindling every single season. He got his move back to Atletico Madrid. I think he probably want to retire there. But if that's not the option available to him, then bring him back to Liverpool. He loved his time at Liverpool. I think he's repaired the relationship with the fans to some extent. I know I'd be happy to have him back. And I think, in fact, let me know, would you be happy to have Torres back? Have you forgiven him for leaving? Comments below. Think about the times we've had third and fourth choice centre forward. He's not got the legs to do it anymore. But look, Daniel Sturridge has not got the legs better at holding the ball. He's better at bringing people into play. I, I think you could do a lot worse than have Fernando Torres as your fourth choice centre forward at Liverpool. So go and make it happen. Alex Oxley Chamberlain, the Ox. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm down with the Ox particularly as a nickname but I'm a down with having a top quality squad player who can play from the left wing the right wing attacking mid and if you wanted to as a two in a holding midfield partnership yeah 35 million pounds no but if Liverpool are going to play nearer to the 20 million that's been talked about then yeah 20 million pounds for Oxley chamber 23 years old his goal return is horrendous but he's shown signs he, he's ready to break out he's one of the few players that Arsenal fans still hold affection for even though they're garbage at the moment look at it look at the situations that Liverpool have had last season or this season where we get an injury in the in the right wing position Mane can't play look he's not as good as Sadio Mane of course he's not but he's better than putting Roberto Firmino on the right because he's got pace better than moving Adam Lallana forward and losing what Adam Lallana does in the attacking midfielder because he's a good footballer and again he's got pace so Alex Ockley Chamberlain the ultimate squad player yes please last one I'm throwing it out there because this is my wish list mine <coughs> Lacazette just going to throw that out there he's ready for the transfer surely like, if, if, if Alexander Lacazette doesn't get a big money move this summer there's something fundamentally wrong with him. Maybe he's just a bad knobhead. I don't know. I don't know. I can't attest to it. Never met the man, I'm sure. I'm sure he's lovely. He's deaf already. He scores goals for fun. He's been tearing the league. Uh. Fresh like, uh, Impala. Uh. 50. Uh. Bentley. Uh. Him came and got a fresh out the slum. He's been turning league uh, to bits for a few years now. Just get him in, buy him, make it happen, bring him to Liverpool, and then, you know, give him a nine shirt, sell tons of shirts, everyone goes crazy. And if he's shit, he's shit. But you know what we can say? We had a spin, we had a go, and if nothing else, again, our FIFA, Pro Evo, and footy manager teams are going to be sensational next year. What do you think of the players that I've listed there? Is there anything that I've glaringly overlooked? Anything I've put in there that you're like, eee, eee, no. <laughs> Also, let me know that in the comments below. Click my face there to subscribe to this channel. If you want more from Mates TV, there is my opinion on Arsene Wenger, the Wenger out, and the protest situation at Arsenal Football Club. Watch that and let me know what you think. Cheers.